Nations will not lift swords against nations. We felt that something dramatic needed to be done. The fences are illegal because they're uh, a surrounding an illegal facility. The dramatic protest by Sister Megan Rice captured national headlines. In 2012, she and two companions breached security at a nuclear weapon producing facility in Tennessee. They cut through fences, splashed blood on the walls, and spray-painted messages to protest nuclear weapons. Now her story is the subject of a new documentary called The Nuns, the Priests, and the Bombs. It's taken on a life of its own, and it's one way of spreading the truth and waking people up. The documentary was screened at the University of Notre Dame's DeBartolo Performing Arts Center on April 8th. Invite your family to get aware of this. After the screening, Sister Rice and the film's producer, Helen Young, answered audience questions about nuclear weapons. I think a lot of people don't even know we have them. They're not that conversant with how powerful they are today. Typically, their frame of reference is the Hiroshima bomb, and that was 15 kilotons. One of the warheads aboard the Trident submarine is 455 kilotons, which is 30 times the Hiroshima bomb. In Catholic teaching, there's real clarity. The use of nuclear weapons is unacceptable, immoral. These are indiscriminate instruments of mass annihilation, and they cannot be justified by any human political purpose. Pope Francis, in the meeting at the Vatican in 2017, uh, specifically said that even the possession of nuclear weapons is to be condemned. The documentary also covers the larger anti-nuclear movement called Plowshares. It's named for a prophecy in the biblical book of Isaiah that describes a peaceful world where swords are converted into plowshares. A hallmark of the decades-long movement is to trespass and protest on the grounds of nuclear facilities. There have been more than a hundred plowshares actions. And in fact, there was just one a few days ago in Kings Bay, Georgia where seven activists trespassed onto a nuclear submarine base there um, that has six Trident nuclear submarines. One of the people involved in that is Father Stephen Kelly, who is in my film, and he has been involved in a number of plowshares actions and has spent about 10 years in prison. Nonviolent protest is a, a critical dimension in any strategy for achieving disarmament. Uh, the political leaders are likely to be the last to make the change, and the people have to really organize and protest and, and take action in whatever arena is most comfortable for them. There's an infinite number of ways that we can oppose evil. We just have to think of new ones, you know? Absolutely. Sister Rice spent two years in prison for her protest. Now she's touring the country to screen the documentary and campaign for nuclear disarmament. Set us all free <laughs> at some point.